what you doing? doing? I'm just about to show everyone how big this AnyCubic printer is. How, how big, big is it? Let's use this and find out. It's huge! Okay. Hi, my name is Greg. Welcome to 3D Make It. Today we are reviewing the AnyCubic Chiron. Here is a quick time lapse of the build. The pros of the AnyCubic are, Chiron are large build volume, 400 by 400 by 450, very close to the CR10S4. It has removable stepper drivers, which is very nice. Uh, great build surface. The build surface is just fabulous. I have any sticking issues whatsoever on it. It's, it's great. It has two 24 volt power supplies. It has a thousand watt power supply for the bed and a separate laptop style power supply for the board itself. And it is also 24 volts. Uh, the heat up time to 50 degrees is four minutes, 20 seconds, which is quite quick. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I haven't had any issues. I normally run mine around 60 degrees, but this is the default for the PLA that is set in the printer. So that's why I use this uh, for the time. Uh, Touchscreen, very responsive. I've got uh, some video of that, which I will show you in a second. And the auto bed leveling is great. It works very well. Um, you'll, I'll show you some uh, clips of that also in a minute. Cons, it is running Marlin 1.1.0. Um, AnyCubic uh, call their version of the firmware 1.3. Um, it does not have thermal runaway because it's not up to date on 1.1.9 or any of the or even 2.0. Um, the fans are quite loud. That's one of the drawbacks. Uh, it has the older uh, 4988 stepper drivers. Uh, they are removable, so you can uh, upgrade them if you want to. Uh, and the bed leveling sensor is a removable bed leveling sensor. Uh, so this is the bed leveling sensor. It is just a micro switch. It has a magnetic connector that clips on right under the hot end. Uh, the tip lines up perfectly with the hot end.
the leveling works quite well. Um, I, I do like the leveling. Uh, I would prefer not to install a leveling sensor and then uh, have to take it off. Um, so I, I think in the future I might look at uh, adding a BL Touch. Uh, it has a couple of custom uh, commands that they've added to their version of Marlin uh, to do auto bed leveling. There's M1001, uh, which enables auto bed leveling, and then M1000, which enables manual bed leveling. Uh, I think they could have got away with doing this with standard uh, Marlin G code, but they've customized uh, some G code. So when you do, if you do try to customize Marlin and uh, put your own flavor of Marlin on there with Thermal Runaway, uh, you might run into issues. I will be trying that in a future video. Here's a quick look at the inside of the Anycubic. We have uh, the USB card and screen adapter hub. Here's the ribbon cable that connects to the SD card reader and the connectors here that connect to the screen. We also have the stepper drivers. We have one, two, three, four. You can't see the other one. It's find behind the fan shroud. Five. We've got, uh, this is E1, Z0. E1 is used for the second Z screw. We've got uh, the laptop power brick. We've got the 24 volt, 1000 watt power supply, which connects to the Anycubic MOSFET. Here is the touch interface of the Anycubic in real time. Enjoy. So some final thoughts, um, just in case someone wants to know, I pronounce it Chiron like the Bugatti Chiron as it should be. Uh, this is a great printer so far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I love the color scheme they went with, uh, the yellow accents are very nice. Um, the build surface is phenomenal, like I said earlier, I really like how hot it uh, how quickly it heats up uh, I like how well the prints stick to it uh, some people were dissing it for having the crisscross white pattern in it and it left you know stuff on the bottom of their model and that really doesn't bug me I, I think um, having your print stick and having a really good print is more important than um, the super glossy finish on the bottom. I mean, we're not using hairspray or glue stick or anything to make the filament stick and it sticks. So I think that those are kind of overblown. So it doesn't bug me. 
the prints are coming out great. I have quite a few different examples uh, of prints, uh, the vase, the lizard, the, quite a large lizard, um, Benchy of course. Uh, they're all coming out really well. Um, I'm very happy that their mod community is uh, growing quite nicely. Um, there are quite a few people with uh, mods on Thingiverse uh, for this printer, which is great to see. Um, I do think the tri Gorilla board could use better support from any cubic, uh, but um, other than that, the community has really um, picked up the slack with the uh, different firmware versions. Now, uh, the community has a 1.1.9, uh, 2.0 builds. Um, the 2.0 builds, I believe, even have the uh, original factory screen working, so I am going to be looking into that because I do want Thermal Runaway, which really should have been enabled right from the factory. I don't think there's really any excuse nowadays uh, to put a printer out without thermal runaway. This thing has a thousand watt power supply so th that bed heats up and I mean I can only imagine how quickly if you had some sort of fault how quickly the the you know shielding on the wire could burn up uh, and then without thermal runaway it wouldn't stop. Um, so I think it's kind of bad on any cubic that they haven't uh, dealt with that. Uh, so I hopefully they will. But thankfully the community has and they uh, have done a really good job with uh, the support on the firmware. Um, quality control issues. D I didn't see as many as a lot of the other reviewers out there have been talking about. Uh, the overall quality of the Chiron has been excellent. Um, some of the cable management is a little bit sketchy. Um, the X carriage has a really nice uh, drag chain, uh, which uh, manages the cable very nicely. I think they could have definitely continued with that uh, on the X carriage, uh, or sorry, the Y carriage and the Z axis. Uh, the wide carriage definitely needs one. The heat bed uh, cable drags out and could catch on the edge. It's, it doesn't quite, but you can see that it could. So that would definitely, there's the uh, community has some different uh, mods out there with different drag chain styles for that. Um, I think any cubic could have easily just added that. Um, I don't know how we can print it for so cheap. I don't know why they wouldn't add that. It would make it just even that much better. It's a fabulous printer, but that would just add, enhance it a little more. Uh, the Z axis, the cables management is also a problem there. It gets in the way of the spool as it go, it's going up and down and so again, uh, drag chain, some other cable management uh, would be good there um, also. The only other real Q, QC issue that I did run into was um, they were, they put a dampener on the uh, Y axis. Great, dampeners are great they put too long of screws so the screws go all the way through and basically connect to the stepper motor almost like they at least they go in not fully screw in but enough to make it so that the dampener can't dampen um, easily fixable uh, I just put in shorter screws uh, and now the dampener does what it's supposed to do but that's a key quality control issue that should have been caught. Uh, but I didn't see any of the other glaring quality control issues that uh, other people have had. Um, I think this is a great printer. Uh, I would definitely buy it again. This is my primary printer. I paid for it with my own money. Um, this is a huge upgrade to what I had, which was uh, ANAD A8. Um, and I know everyone's cringing at those words. Uh, 
I learned a lot from that printer. That's the one thing I got to say, uh, learning how to make it safe, learning uh, about power supplies, learning how to modify and create a proper power system that won't catch on fire, uh, how to make the heat bed safe with MOSFETs. I learned so much from that printer that I think it was a great first printer for me. Um, yeah, so I hope that uh, you got a little bit of info out of this, a little bit of entertainment. Um, we will be putting out more videos in the future. I'm going to try to put out some videos with different changes I'm going to make to this in the future, uh, whether it's stepper drivers or uh, mods that I think will improve it. Um, right now it's pretty much stock, so time to get into the modifications and really make this printer my own. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like um, and ring the little bell for notifications on any new videos and see you next time.